नमस्कार मी अमोल किनोळकर या खास मुलाखतीमध्ये आपल्या सगळ्यांचं स्वागत आपल्या सोबत जे दोन पाहुणे आहेत ते थेट थेट स्कॉटलंड म्हणून आपल्याशी जोडले गेलेले आहेत माझ्यासोबत आहेत डॉक्टर संदेश गुन्हाणे जे नुकतेच स्कॉटिश पार्लमेंटमध्ये खासदार म्हणून निवडून आलेले आहेत मेंबर ऑफ स्कॉटिश पार्लमेंट नुकत्याच तिथे निवडणुका झाल्या आणि त्यामध्ये ते निवडून आलेले आहेत पहिले भारतीय वंशाचे खासदार म्हणून त्यांनी आता नुकताच शपथविधी घेतलेला आहे हे आपल्या सगळ्यांसाठी खूप आनंदाची बातमी आहे आणि त्यांचं मूळ गाव आहे अमरावती त्यांच्यासोबत त्यांच्या आई सुद्धा आहेत पुष्पा गुन्हाणे त्या सुद्धा आपल्याशी गप्पा मारण्यासाठी आता जॉईन झालेल्या आहेत त्यामुळे या मुलाखतीमध्ये या दोघांचंही मी स्वागत करतो आणि पहिला प्रश्न मी अर्थातच डॉक्टर संदेश गुन्हाणे यांना विचारतो त्यांना थोडस मराठीचा प्रॉब्लेम आहे मी इंग्लिशमध्ये प्रश्न विचारतो डॉक्टर सुरुवातीला तुमचं खूप खूप अभिनंदन मेनी कॉन्ग्रॅच्युलेशन्स टू यू uh the my my first question is uh, how did you got interest in politics because usually uh, we see people are busy in their work uh, so how did you uh, decide to join politics in abroad now namaskar thank you thank you for such lovely words um i'm a doctor i i've been a doctor for since 2006 and i was an orthopedic surgeon uh, i was uh, uh, training to be an orthopedic surgeon for 8 years and then i became a, a gp and so i i have a passion for treating people i want to make sure that everyone uh, is treated well i want to make sure that people's health is looked after and during covid and the pandemic that we are in i was just seeing so many problems i was seeing people really suffering Uh, and you you're going through some horrible horrible times in india my heart really goes out to you and with my family being in india as well it's it's a really scary time and um, but here here in scotland we had problems um we had trouble with getting the the protective equipment we need we had problems with the government talking to the doctors we didn't know what was happening and i thought there must be a better way and so i decided to stand for parliament so that i could be that person the doctor that talks uh, and brings in my knowledge in the parliament and says to the people uh, the government actually no this is wrong this is not the way we need to do it this is how we need to do it so you'll see that today uh, i i'm trying to ask a question to our, our first minister uh, about the covid crisis that we're having in glasgow so that's the experience that i want to bring but i haven't stopped being a doctor i will continue to be a doctor i will continue to see my patients uh, but i'm now going to split my time and i'm going to be working as a as a member of the scottish parliament as well yeah uh, how to believe in uh, uh, such people says uh, he's an outsider uh, he's an indian uh, ever had such an experience to you no yeah, absolutely uh, and i think anybody who has uh, who who's living in a country that's not india is going to feel that sometimes we all experience racism i've experienced it just walking down the street and i'm i'm hearing myself being called all kinds of names um and and that happens uh, but what i want to say is i'm very proud i'm very proud to be indian i'm very proud to be the first uh, indian male uh, heritage elected to the the scottish parliament uh, and that really brings me joy uh, and also i'm very happy that the people of glasgow voted for me it didn't matter to them that i was indian they voted for me and they they elected me as the member for glasgow um, mm. and so i can i can now repay their trust and their faith mm. doctor how many people of indians uh, descent are there and how much influence do they have on politics in uh, uh, scottish parliament and in uh, scotland So uh, I I'm the first um Indian heritage male um yeah. there's another lady again from my party the Scottish Conservatives called Pam Gozel uh, she is also uh Indian um but before that it's uh, there's been no uh people from India that we have had some Pakistanis um mm-hmm. joining parliament um but but no one from India um so influence uh, from India is not very great but that's something that i hope to change and that's what i want to be i want to i want people to be able to see me and say well he's indian he's a normal person why can't i be like him uh, and to inspire other people uh, because if they see me then hopefully more and more and more people will start to join and will start to become interested in politics will then start to do better than me uh, and then we will be able to have some influence and we'll be able to 
to look at problems like racism. We'll be able to look at the problems that, that we're experiencing. And uh, again, uh, that will only strengthen the ties between our two great countries. ओके डॉक्टर संदेश आपण तुमच्याशी पुन्हा एकदा बोलूयात पण मी आता आईंकडे जातो नमस्कार आई खर तर अमरावती ते स्कॉटलंड खूप मोठा प्रवास आहे हा तुम्ही तिकडे गेलात नंतर मग मुलांचं शिक्षण असेल घरची जबाबदारी असेल खूप आव्हानं होती या प्रवासामध्ये एवढ्या वर्षांचा हा तीस पस्तीस चाळीस वर्षांचा हा प्रवास कसा होता सुरुवातीला डिफिकल्टच होता पण मला फॅमिली फ्रेंड्स सगळ्यांची मदत मिळत गेली सम हाव मॅनेज मॅनेज केलंय बर बर पण आता मुलांची शिक्षण असतील मुलांची शिक्षण झाली मुलगा डॉक्टर झाला आता खासदार पण झाला तिथे निवडून पण आलाय कसं वाटतंय आता प्राऊड व्हेरी प्राऊड प्राऊड जे आपण मेहनत केली ती फळाला आली असं वाटायला लागलंय पण कधी विचार केला होता की आपली मुलं इथल्या राजकारणामध्ये जातील आणि एवढं मोठं नाव कमवतील असं कधी वाटलं होतं नेवर कधीच नाही नेवर नेवर पण माझे वडील माझे सासरे ते पॉलिटिक्स मध्ये भाग घ्यायचे पण इथे असं कधीच अमरावतीला हा मी लंडनला असते संदेश स्कॉटलंडला आहे अच्छा नाही मला तेच विचारायचं होतं की हा जो इथून जाण्याचा तुमचा तिथपर्यंत जाण्याचा प्रवास आहे तिथून मग मुलांचं शिक्षण असेल किंवा आता मुलगा खासदार झाला निवडून आला तर इतक्या वर्षांमध्ये काय नवीन गोष्टी तुम्ही शिकलात कधी असा अनुभव आला का की तुम्ही इंडियन आहात मग तुम्हाला असा भेदभाव वगैरे होतो काही देशांमध्ये तसं तुम्हाला काही अनुभव आला का कारण आज मुलगा तुमचा तिथे निवडून आलाय तिथल्या म्हणजे निवडून येणं ही खूप मोठी प्रोसेस असते तिथल्या लोकांची मनं जिंकावी लागतात तिथल्या लोकांचा पाठिंबा असावा लागतो तो पाठिंबा त्यांना मिळवलेला आहे तुम्हाला तुमच्या या तीस चाळीस वर्षांच्या अनुभवामध्ये काही असं जाणवलं का मला कधीच जाणवलं नाही मला सर्वांचाच पाठिंबा मिळाला इंग्लिश स्कॉटिश आणि आयरिश पीपल आफ्रिकन से मल्टी कल्चर सोसायटी मला सगळ्यांचे सगळ्यांनी मला सपोर्ट केला मला कधीच असा अनुभव आला नाही कधीच रेसिझमचा प्रॉब्लेम मला झाला नाही मला पर्सनली तो प्रॉब्लेम झाला नाही कधी मग आता अमरावतीला तुमचं शेवटचं कधी येणं झालं होत दोन वर्षापूर्वी आईला भेटायला आले होते मी अच्छा आणि डॉक्टर पण सोबत होते डॉक्टर कधी आले होते शेवटचे Oh, it was it was over 10 years ago i'm afraid 10 years over ago. 10 years ago yeah oh. it's it, it, and i wish I, i want to come back i've got two ba- i've got a baby girl and a, a seven year old boy and i want i want to show them india i want to show them maharashtra and to to come around and and look at the beauty of the country my son is desperate to come so we will be coming as soon as it's safe tumhi kay miss karta ikadcha amravati cha Well, I mean, I I miss the family. We have oh. such a big family uh mm-hmm. and it was lovely. I remember coming down and we'd all sit we'd all sit on a on a bed and chat and you'd talk for hours and hours and hours and uh, that's all you did. You know, we didn't watch TV and do all of those things and there were so many people that I could talk to and I could enjoy time with and they're all family that I haven't seen in so long. So that's what I really miss about India family. Um but I think introducing my son to his family uh, is going to be very special for me mm. yes uh, doctor uh, i have a qu- question for you uh, how was your journey doctor to politician so uh, actually it was it was a very easy journey for me uh, the party uh, were very welcoming they uh, they asked me to come to so what what happens is you have to do a hosting so that's where you talk to the members and they elect whether they want you to stand for them or not so the members elected me to stand for them um and then uh, it was about getting my message out to the the people of Scotland the people of Glasgow the party have a message we had a message and we we told people about that and it was really difficult because i was still working i, I keep saying i'm still a doctor i still see patients i'm still helping people so i was campaigning whilst i was being a doctor 
I, I, it's not it's not the only thing I was doing. So I was working all the time. You'd see me. I'd be uh, at work, and then after work, I'd go out campaigning and talking to people and throw, putting leaflets through doors. Um, uh, and then you'd see I go back to work the next day. So it's been a very difficult time as far as the time is concerned, but it's very enjoyable and it's so wonderful that people recognize what we were saying and agreed with it and voted for me. Doctor, how many years you have uh, been in politics? Uh, what did you do uh, to get an election ticket? Because it's not been easy in, politics. in India to get ticket. <laughs> I've been in politics for about six months, uh, so six months. not very long, only six months. Uh, it's I'm a doctor. Uh, that's my job. That's who mm -hmm. I am. But because of what I saw, because of how difficult times were, I thought I could help. Uh, I could really make a difference. And, and I went and uh, I spoke to um, the party through, so Baroness Mubarak uh, here mm -hmm. in Scotland, uh, she introduced me to the party. Uh, because she recognized that I might have something to bring to the party and the party recognized that that I have a lot to bring uh, my my knowledge and expertise in medicine it, there's no doctor that is in the Scottish Parliament right now I'm the only doctor in the Scottish Parliament uh, they didn't have a doctor last time either so mm -hmm. this is vital oh. skills I think and we must remember that it's important that, that there are people who have worked who have done jobs that are representing other people in parliament because it can't just be people who are do nothing but but be a politician we need a mix of people uh, and that's how you get real representation hmm. doctor uh, what is the current situation uh, in the covid time now uh, what exactly your challenges because you are a doctor and now you are a public representative so it's a double duty for you it, it really is. It really is. Look, my, my, my first patient, uh, my first priority is always the welfare and the health of everyone. Uh, so it's not only uh, the people who have voted me in in Scotland and, and all of Scotland, but it's my patients as well. So that's the oath I've taken to be a doctor. Um, so that's my number one priority. Now, what's happening here in Scotland is very different to what's happening with you in India, uh, in 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 Scotland, we had a big wave. We were, went into lockdown, and the levels of how how much you must be inside and not leave varies. Um, what's what we're seeing now, right now in Glasgow, there's a spike uh, in the south of Glasgow. There's also a spike in another area called East Renfrewshire. So those increases in numbers are very concerning because the COVID vaccine the covid the covid has has uh, mutated and it's now what we call here the indian variant um because that's where it first mutated to be this and it's a lot more aggressive than the covid we had before so my challenge is to make sure that the people uh, especially people from uh indian pakistani bangladeshi backgrounds african backgrounds they get the vaccine because lots of these people are scared of getting it, are hesitant of getting it. Uh, and it is this that we need to ensure that they get because the vaccine protects us. So here in Scotland, it's about getting the vaccine out to as many people as possible. Uh, and in Glasgow, we haven't been allowed to do the other things that the rest of the country have been able to do. So the rest of the country are now being able to go to the cinema. They're able to go out and eat and, uh, and they're able to have a drink with their meals. But that's not something we can do in Glasgow. So I, I'm working as hard as I can, and I'm trying to ask the government a question today in Parliament about what's happening in Glasgow. Um, and so that's something you might be able to, to watch a little bit later on at 2, two o'clock here. Um, uh, I'm trying to find out more information about Glasgow and trying to help as much as I can. Okay. मी सगळ्या प्रेक्षकांना पुन्हा एकदा सांगतो की डॉक्टर ज्या मतदारसंघामधून निवडून आलेला आहे तो ग्लासगो पोलॉक या नावाचा मतदारसंघ आहे ओके ओके तर हा यांचा जो मतदारसंघ आहे तो ग्लासगो आहे सो व्हॉट आर द प्रॉब्लेम इन युअर कन्स्टिट्युएन्सी ग्लासगो वॉट विल बी द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ युअर वर्क my priority is making sure that uh, people are healthy. Uh, we get through COVID as it is right now because it's not gone away. It's still here. 
And I also want to then try to get us to recover from COVID. So it's really difficult because when you go into lockdown, then people's mental health really suffers. So I've had girls as young as 10 years old come to tell me that they're struggling. They, they are too anxious. They can't go outside because they're scared. I've got people who are trying to commit suicide because they feel as though they can't cope. Uh, people are feeling really bad here. And so that is my priority, to try to get as much government support as possible for mental health. We also have a problem here called long COVID, where patients are, unfortunately, they have COVID, they get better, but then they still can't breathe properly, they still can't walk anywhere. And it's trying to ensure that we can get help for these people. So my only priority is making sure that the health of Scotland uh, is as good as it can be uh, with COVID and recovering from COVID. Dhanabad, you have a lot of time for us. And Dr. Tumsa Sudha, you have a lot of time for us. 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 Thank you. 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 या मुलाकाती में तुम्हें इतना सामतो है पहाड़ रहा एबीपी माझा एबीपी माझा उड़ा डोले बगानीट